Well, it's Veterans Day and many events are happening across the state recognizing the brave servicemen and women of our nation. In West Valley City, a new memorial paying tribute to veterans is up and running. ABC 4's Curtis Booker is in West Valley with that story. On a day to salute the men and women that have served to protect and serve our country. Every Utah will be recognized here for their service and their sacrifice. A million dollar project years in the making comes to fruition in West Valley City. The Utah Veterans Memorial pays tribute to thousands of Utahs who lost their lives during combat. Outgoing West Valley City Mayor Ron Bigelow says the city broke ground a mere months ago on Memorial Day of this year. Now we're dedicating it on Veterans Day uh, because of the significance of those dates. Dozens gathered for the unveiling of the memorial, featuring a wall standing eight feet high with the names of 2,849 veterans with ties to Utah who gave their lives in service and five flags flown at the Capitol in D.C. The ceremony also featured veterans who spent their time away from families as well. I have a couple of people on the wall over there that I served with and so it's kind of heartbreaking at the same time. Joe Day, who served in Afghanistan, says initially when he returned home, it was difficult readjusting to a normal everyday life, but his family played a major part in him getting the help he needed. It's heartbreaking when you don't realize what you're doing and causing, you know, because you know, of, of everything you experienced. Speakers sending the message that it's not just the servicemen and women who serve. For every veteran who is in Afghanistan or Iraq or wherever they might be, there's someone back home who worries about them and is praying for them. Again, that was ABC 4's Curtis Burker reporting. Now, Mayor Bigelow says this is just the beginning. He says the city has plans to expand this memorial into its own building and add more names of Utahns who not only lost their lives, but those wounded as well. Well, Mother Nature sure.